tell me what, when you think about these women who are burning out, especially the, the sort of what I call the chronic caregivers, the ones who spend their days in service industries or in healthcare or in nonprofits. So basically serving people all day long and then they come home and, oh, look, here's a whole nother population who needs your help and your service. <laughs> no wonder they're burning out, but tell me what you have noticed. What are the commonalities among these women? It's about perfectionism. Mm, yes. You know, the good girl syndrome. How do we please everybody? And it gets lost from there. How do we flip it by saying, I always refer to it as the ripple effect of self care. Mm. When you put yourself first, when you give yourself permission to remove the word self care and selfish, it opens up the door. And that when you are nourished emotionally, mentally, physically, in all the ways that we need to be nourished, you have so much more capacity to give and support those around you. Mm. And when you flip that message of everyone else first, why me? The question is, why not me? Yeah. What was why? Where, yeah. where did you lose value? to be just as important as everybody who you are taking care of. Mm, yeah, that's a very succinct way of putting it. Yeah, perfectionism and people pleasing and that that good girl thing and and we're doing this job in a lot of in a lot of ways we step into that work because we know that we can we're good at it. We're right? good at this, it. This, and this is what we do. Know, we patriarchy. tend to mend and nurture. Right. You know, patriarchy yeah. at its finest. Here we yeah. are as women. This is what it's expected of us and we're yeah. supposed to look like like this too. Yeah. 